Okay, so we're back here about three and a half miles back into the southern Nantahala wilderness. Um, we're back at one of our most remote sites where we have uh, timber rattlesnakes both uh, coming for gestation as well as coming to, to shed. Uh, last time we were in here about a month ago, we had three gravid females that were out basking in the open. Um, and we're just about to walk in on those now and, and see if those females are still there. So. So this rock right here is the main rock that they use for gestation. However, the snakes haven't been there, and actually I see them. They're out over here, and I'm going to move a little bit closer. Hopefully we'll get a pretty good look at them before they retreat. The snakes don't hear all that well, so I have no problem talking, but I always try to walk really softly because they do a good job at sensing vibrations. Okay, so I see at least two. Oh, there's three. Okay. Yeah, so we have the same three gravid females. using this rock, um, <clears throat> going under this rock and staying there for the entire summer allows these snakes to maintain a pretty high and somewhat constant body temperature both day and night because during the day these rocks heat up and then at night the rocks are giving off heat that allow the snakes again to keep a high body temperature and do the final uh, you know, adjustments they need and the final growth to those, those uh, fertilized eggs inside of them before they give birth later in the summer. So this is a beautiful kind of in-between yellow and black morph, uh, but pretty typical for a color morph you might see in the Blue Ridge Mountains. She's uh, kind of an average sized female, maybe a little bit on the small side. she goes into back under her gestation rock. Typically we don't like to disturb the snakes, so uh, we'll typically look at them from a distance and not uh, bother them, but I did want to share this experience with some of you guys today. Especially to, to be able to see him 